A bill on electoral reforms which seeks to link electoral roles with the Aadhaar ecosystem was cleared in Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha. Today, we will take a look at the five points concerning the key highlights, concerns raised by the opposition and the context of Aadhaar linkage when it comes to the new electoral reforms law. Number one, removing duplicacy. Registration in electoral role is done based on an application by a person eligible to be registered as a voter. Center has clarified that no application will be rejected on the grounds that Aadhaar number hasn't been provided. Center has argued that Aadhaar linking with electoral role, the issue in electoral database management, which is multiple enrollment of the same person at different places. This may be due to frequent shifting of residents and getting enrolled in new place without deleting previous enrollment. Seeking to check multiple entries in electoral roles and to make them error free, the election commission proposed changes in the law to link Aadhaar numbers with electoral data. This change will ensure that a person is registered as a voter in one constituency. Union Minister of Law Kiran Rijiju has affirmed that this bill will cleanse the election system. Number two, increasing eligible voters. To allow more people to register as voters, Centre has made key changes to the electoral law. The bill now seeks to provide four qualifying dates of January 1, April 1, July 1 and October 1 in a year for registration of voters instead of a single qualifying date which was only January 1 earlier. Now, because of this, due to one cutoff date earlier, a person attaining the age of 18 years was on January 2 not able to register. The bill seeks to also make a gender neutral change by replacing the term wife with spouse. This allows husbands of service voters to cast their vote from the place where their wives are posted. Number three, legal roadblock. Back in 2015, a Supreme Court judgment on Aadhaar had paused EC's project to link Aadhaar number with voters' electoral data to check multiple entries in electoral rolls. The Supreme Court made it clear that sanction of law is required to collect Aadhaar number. Consequently, the Commission had to propose changes in electoral law to link the electoral role with Aadhaar. Number four, right to privacy. Supreme Court judgment in the Puttaswamy case defines privacy as a fundamental right. Opposition parties have contended that linking Aadhaar and voter IDs will lead to several obstacles to the security and privacy of individuals. They have argued that it can even allow non-citizens to vote because Aadhaar reflects proof of residence and not citizenship. Number five, impact on Aadhaar ecosystem. A citizen needs Aadhaar to avail benefits of welfare schemes, to file income tax returns and to link it with PAN cards. Voting is a legal right. This particular bill is going to expand the scope of Aadhaar's usage. The assessment of the new legislation with respect to the voters will be examined in the upcoming five assembly elections next year. But it will surely have a major impact on the citizens of the world's biggest democracy.